This is the reality of the not so glamorous part of beating at your ass up wind. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. People don't like to see like broken teeth and stuff. Don't be looking out. We're back on the lawn. Oh my god, what a trip, huh, Kenneth? Yeah. There is a very interesting boat that we're gonna go look at. Yeah, all right, you ready to do your first well? So ready, I'm you so nervous. To. Pretty much changed our direction completely. Yeah. Should we say it's for yeah. I can't believe we're building a boat. In Australia. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> of all the circumstances to come together, that was probably yeah. least likely that I would have predicted. Yeah. For sure. So if you haven't seen the last two episodes, go and watch them because we have some major things happen in our life. <sighs> and now we're gonna go for a little leisurely sail. We're about to set off in these conditions. Delos is anchored in this bay here, a super beautiful spot, but very exposed to the swell, turning our floating home into a bit of an amusement park ride. Now that we're all settled back in after a trip, we've been waiting for some good weather to go around the island to another anchorage with a much better production. But a good weather window is simply nowhere to be seen. So we decided to brave the elements and suffer for one day of gnarly conditions in exchange for a peaceful anchorage and a good night's sleep. I think it's about 22 miles, but the first seven to 10 miles is right into it. And then the next eight or so miles, it should be on the beam, but there's always huge swell on that huge side of the swell, island. Because it's like the point of the island, so it's like it's really like converging island. currents and wind. And We're just gonna go for it because it doesn't look like any time soon will be any better. It's just no, blasting. It's all in 20s out of the east. Yeah, the and a big east. swell, two meter swell for the unforeseen future. And we, I just feel like for our sanity, we just gotta move. Anchorages. We're gonna brave the conditions and. Oh, I uh, can see white caps out there already. Wish us good luck. Okay, so before we get into this crazy sail, I wanna pause for a bit and talk about something that I think is super important. Uh, you guys saw that a few weeks back, I definitely like hit a wall. I felt like my whole world was turned upside down, and even the smallest task felt like too much to handle. This is not the first time this has happened to me. I've been working with stress and anxiety for a long time now. Different things have helped me out during these challenging times, like books, podcasts, talking to friends and family. And I love talking to Brian, but sometimes getting that helpful, kind of unbiased advice from a person that is trained to listen and isn't smack bang in the middle of the chaos have been crucial for me. That's why I'm happy to say that today's sponsor is BetterHelp. It's super easy to get started. You go to their site, you can use our link betterhelp.com forward slash Delos. You answer a few quick questions and BetterHelp will match you to a professional therapist. You can do it all via phone call, video chat or messaging or from the comfort of your own home. You've been matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours, so you can get started fast. So if you feel like you can benefit from therapy too, let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist that can support you. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash Delos or choose Delos during sign up and enjoy a special discount for your first month. Okay, now we're going sailing. Here we go. It's not 24 knots true. Perfect. Perfect for our first sail. Yeah, right into it. Uh, <laughs> 23 knots true wind. The parent wind is like 28, 29. I don't think it's too bad. Like, we've kind of got the sails reefed down. We're on the second reef on everything. And uh, just kind of bashing our way into it. Uh, we've got six miles to round the corner, which isn't bad, but I think we're gonna have to actually, because the wind and the swell and the current is all against us, right into it, 
I think we're gonna have to sail 12 miles to make those six miles. Let me pause for a second and explain what I mean here. We're traveling east, in the exact direction that the wind, waves, and current are coming from. Because of the way that sails work, we can't sail directly into the wind. We need to turn the boat in an angle to the wind so that we can generate some forward motion and lift. The minimum angle you need to turn varies depending on a boat's performance, build, sail configuration, and the sea state. For Delos, sailing in the ocean with the waves knocking us around, we're happy if we can head up wind with an apparent wind angle in the low 40 degree range. So that means that if we want to go in the direction that the wind is coming from, instead of taking a route like this, we need to make a zigzag pattern that will allow us to head in the right general direction, but effectively lengthening the total distance we have to travel. This is known as tacking, and it can take 1.5 to 2 times the distance than if you were able to sail in an exact straight line. So I say we tack out for like an hour this way and then we'll tack that way for an hour, and then I think we'll round the corner. That's what I hope. How do you feel for, for sail back? Yeah, I'm okay. It's way better than I expected. Oh, oh. God. Ah. <laughs> we just launched over a wave and like hit the next one and the whole boat just went boom, which it doesn't really hurt the boat, but it's kind of unnerving. Yeah, it's not very comfortable. And the reason is, is because we're going, I should probably, ah! boom! I should probably slow us down a little bit or bear off. If I slow us down, then we don't launch over them. We just sort of like chug along. Brian is braving it and decided to go up on the bar with the 360 to get some shots. Tried to show how hectic it is out here. It's hard to get on camera, the scope of like how the boat is moving and how big the waves are. They always look really small on camera. Are we ready for tacking? Ready for tacking, Sierra? Yeah. Okay, tacking. You ready for tacking? Tacking. Okay, go ahead. Ah, sorry, Sierra. Are you surviving? Sierra is building a castle, and I'm just trying not to shoot. How's your castle, Sierra? Does it keep on falling down in the waves? We'll rebuild it when we get there, okay? You can see our tack there. We did all right. It's not quite a 90 degree tack, a little bit less, but in ocean swells like this, it's not bad for us. And uh, if we can hold this course, we just gotta round this corner here. That is uh, 4.3 miles away. And then we'll bear off a little bit and then make it around here. We're doing all right though. It's not the most comfortable sail, but we'll get there. This is the reality of the not so glamorous part of beating at your ass up wind. How we doing, Kaz? Just like kind of just want to puke so I get it over with, you know? You used to get seasick, but not this bad. What do you think changed? I don't know. Since I had Sierra, it's not really bad. Yeah. I think it's because you have to care for her while we're sailing. Or do you think your body changed? Maybe a combination of both? Yes. I know. We'll be there soon, okay? in this corner of the island here. Conditions are pretty brutal. It seems like the sea state, it always kind of stacks up. Usually a lot of current, because uh, all the swells hit up against the island, and then you've got waves reflecting back off the island, and it just gets real mixed up. But uh, we're where we need to be, and I think I can take us 
10 to port. See how that treats us. Should smooth out a little bit and we'll go some we'll go faster. Hanging in there, Kaz? Yeah. I'm sorry. I wish you're feeling better. Yeah. At least Nugs is laying down. Poor little baby. She didn't want any of this. She just wanted to play with her Legos. What a childhood. And ends up almost puking. Your parents are dragging around the other side of the island. Okay, here we go. We've picked up another knot of speed there. Now we're 50 degrees off the wind, so. As we made our way around the island, our angle to the wind clocked all the way around, and eventually we had the breeze at our backs, a welcome respite from our long day of bashing into the wind, waves, and current. We'd made our final jive, and we were in the home stretch with nothing but smooth sailing from here. Whoa, oh, jive ho! Half five. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be rolly? I already feel some protection from the island, so I'm voting with we made a good choice because I just can't imagine if we made a poor choice and we get over here and this thing just worse than the one we just left on the <laughs> flip my beep, sorry. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> It's true. There's nothing worse than a bad anchorage, guys. I know. We've had plenty of it in the last couple of weeks. But hopefully, let's cross our fingers, hold our thumbs, that it won't be worse than where we left from. Oh, it's going to be so much better. <laughs> to say it was better is an understatement. We had arrived in paradise. After finding a cozy spot in the anchorage and dropping the hook, we went down below to survey the damage from the day's chaos. My AirPods flew out. I found one of them back in our bedroom, one of them here. Like shit's all over the floor of this cabinet flew open. I had to replace, like press that back into place. Around in potatoes. Potatoes! Did you find another potato? Ah! Oh, Flying potatoes! This one probably flew out of here. What happened to your rooms? Oh my god, Sierra. Yeah. What happened to your room? <laughs> my wave make my room messy. Coo! 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 Like that. Oh, it's all over again. But we made it. I feel slightly dizzy. I'm gonna sit outside and have a drink. <laughs> but it's a beautiful anchorage and it's not rolling. I'm so excited. But the excitement wouldn't last long, because the very next day... Oh my god, Kaza, no! Holy crap! Was that one of your caps? Is that the one... I was one... literally just eating rice. Oh, you know I hate things to do with teeth and nails. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. Oh my I don't gosh. Know what to do. We're gonna have to look this up. Help! <laughs> Help, please! Help is not a strong enough word to describe what we needed. Over the course of the next 24 hours, we were about to go through a roller coaster of confusion, comedy, and a casual hike across the entire island to get supplies. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Before we dive into our dental drama, I want to backtrack for a second and explain just what a cap is in case you're not familiar. So here's a quick recap on what you need to know. When a tooth gets damaged or infected, it needs to be shaved down. In Kaz's case, she had a root canal done in Mexico just over a year ago, and was now left with a little nub which is vulnerable to further damage or infection. So they cement a cap on top to protect it. So losing a cap is kind of a big deal, and can lead to some pretty serious issues if left unaddressed for a while. I got some pictures here. People don't like to see like broken teeth and stuff. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. That's the crown. That's yeah. the inside of it, right? That's my nail polish. That's Kaz's <laughs> well manicured finger. Aww. The top part, right? Yeah. There's also your finger. And then here comes the mouth. Ew. So it's th obviously this one. Yeah. So it's a, this must have been where the root canal was done and then filled, right? What to do if your crown falls off on a weekend or at night? Make an emergency appointment with your dentist as soon as you can to get a temporary crown, ideally the same day. 
That's one of the things about cruising, right? Is like, we are nowhere near an emergency anything. Maybe there's a dentist here in Yokohiva. Maybe there's one in Hiva'oa. Maybe we gotta go to Tahiti. Okay, we'll figure this out though. <laughs> I'm, on to a, I'm on to a mission here. It actually doesn't look too promising for a dentist uh, here in the Marquesas. I put up some posts on the WhatsApp cruisers group and they said the last person that happened to here and they had to fly to Tahiti. But then apparently there's this, you can just glue a crown back on as like some sort of a temporary measure until you can get to a dentist. So I'm trying to research that. We also have our little dental repair kit that I didn't even think to check. And look at this, Dental Medic. A temporary filling mixture to protect the tooth from further damage. If we can just glue that bad boy back on. Being a DIY guy, of course, fixing our dental mishap ourselves was my first instinct. But before we went down that potentially sketchy road, we needed to do a little bit of research and see if this was actually a good idea or not. And given our background, we knew just where to start. What's Guess going what? on, Brian? There's a YouTube video. <laughs> oh my this. god! How to cement a temporary crown with temp bond. <laughs> Look at that. There it is. That's exactly what you're saying. And we're going to cement it on with temporary cement. YouTube confirmed that we were not, in fact, insane for attempting to do this ourselves. And so we decided. I think we should just, we should just do it. I agree. Okay. Just getting our supplies together. We need our temporary cement. We got the glue right here. We need a mixing pad. We're gonna mix it on top of that. A mixing spatula. And then we need our explorer. We don't really have any dental picks, but I do have these. These are my trusty engine room picks. They work good for machinery. I think they look good for Kaz's teeth. I just gotta get the oil and grease off of them and then sanitize them real good. Just getting some of the rust off of these for you guys. She's gonna use her beaver tail to mix it together. So, together. so she's gonna the begin beaver mixing. Tail. Okay, this is Anaho Emergency Tooth Repair Services on call. Oh my god. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Operation fix a tooth. I hope this stuff isn't expired. Oh, I think it's old. Look at that. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I don't think that's good, Kaz. I think that's way expired. Oh, so close yet so far. Our high hopes for a quick fix seem to have been dashed. So we took to the internet to see what else we could come up with. The cruiser community is awesome. And I put out a message on the Facebook uh, it's like a group called Share Info French Polynesia on actually Facebook and WhatsApp. And then somebody responded on WhatsApp and he's actually a dentist on another boat. And I told him, I think this stuff is expired. And he's like, well, yeah, that's a number, but the chances are it'll probably still work. And so what I'm doing is I'm just mixing it up as a batch, as a test, because we have more than one. And then he said that he would FaceTime with us and walk me through the procedure. Hi. This is my friend Angie. Hi. Meet everybody. Hi. This is Mark and Angie. <laughs> this is They're... so random, huh? So here's what it looks like. It got a bit lumpy, huh? Yeah. When I mixed it together, it hardened and it hardened quick. Time is money, baby. Yeah. So here's what you do to slow it down. You gotta refrigerate it. Okay, so. The reaction. And then here's the most critical thing of all. Mark gave us the full play-by-play -play on what to do what to avoid, and what to expect. His advice was awesome. We were so relieved that we would in fact be able to use our crusty old glue and having that last bit of encouragement from an actual human dentist that knew our situation was definitely what we needed. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the info. Wish well, us good luck. Wish us luck, we'll let you know how it works out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. So okay. many fun people out there. So Should we do it straight away or do you want to take a break? I thought you wanted to take Nugs for a walk on the beach. And then Is we, can, we can come back. Yeah, okay. Get you hopped up on Valium. No. I'm going to take a couple rums. You can't catch me.
In cruising, everything is a trade-off. We have the amazing privilege of exploring some of the most far-flung corners of the earth, but the solitude and distance from civilization that makes these places so special also means that we're sometimes faced with challenges that you wouldn't even have to deal with living in a typical city or anywhere with normal medical access for that matter. But luckily, with a well-stocked medical kit, our satellite internet, and the ever-growing ease of accessing information and connecting with other cruisers, it looks like we would be able to skip the $2,500 round-trip flights to and from Tahiti and handle this situation in the comfort of our own floating home. Okay, we're back from our walk. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for it. Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha. Uh -huh. That much. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Going for it. Okay, try it. Does it look like, feel like it's down far enough? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for five minutes now. Pull it out, let's, I'm a let's, bit see, let's see our handiwork. A little bit nervous. How does your bite feel? Great. It does? There's no, it's not it too wrong. high? Whoa. No. Oh, on this side. Let's have a look in there. Oh yeah, there's not very much glue that squirted out at all. Hmm? I can see a little bit right there on the edge. I think we'll just take my engine tool scraper We'll just dig around your mouth like a little bit. A little bit. Do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? I might just do it in the mirror down there. Okay. With my head. I thought it popped off again. I'm like, oh shit. That's my worry though. Like now I have to be really careful, right? Where if you, you swallow it, you know, you're going to have to poop in a bucket for like a week. <laughs> Good job, guys. In my self-proclaimed professional dental opinion, I would have to say we did a pretty bang up job given the circumstances. And now, only time would tell if we really got it right. And since we used up the last of our glue, we thought it might be a good idea to track down some more to keep as a backup, just in case we needed a repeat fix. But we couldn't just pop into the pharmacy and pick some up. We'd been chatting with another boat that had some on hand, but they were on the other side of the island in a bay just over this mountain ridge right here. And since there's no roads coming in or out, and moving the boat would take even longer, we put on our hiking boots and got ready for a full day mission. It's the ridge, so we gotta walk along the beach and then all the way up. It's, it's almost a thousand feet vertical, I think. And then we gotta go down. And we go and down the other side and we have to do it for it. It's gonna be a day. And off we go. How long do you think it will take us to go to the other side? Well, it depends on how many flowers she picks along the way. <laughs> you love to stop and pick flowers, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Haven't taken a hike in a while. I feel like I'm a little out of shape. <laughs> Sweat monster. I'm so sweaty, Sierra. Me? <laughs> Not you? I wonder why. I think we're almost at the top. Look at that view. Baby? What was that? Stone? Goo Gaga. We were treated to a pretty sweet view of Delos from the top before it was time to begin our descent into the other side of the ridge, into the valley and the village below. We made it to the road. Now we just have to go down into the village. It's a beautiful walk. I love these mountains. It's amazing. Oh, there's our friends. We see our friends. And as an exchange for the tooth glue, we brought them some moonshine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Easy now. Easy. Who's, who's <laughs> driving? <laughs> I just want to smell it. 
I just want to smell with it. With my tongue. I want to smell it with my tongue. With the glue in hand, we breathed a big sigh of relief as our dental saga was officially over, for now at least. We had actually been to this bay before, and we knew of a really good local restaurant that served a killer lunch that would make the perfect stop to fuel up before the return hike back to Delos. <laughs> So this is uh, coconut goat curry, black leaf, cassava, this is uh, breadfruit, and it's really good. Up next on Delos, we finally get a weather window to head back south to Hiva Oa, and the sailing is incredible. We set the hook in a crowded Atawana in Hiva Oa, where I immediately get stuck into some boat projects. Well, that's a fine mess. Oh, that sucks. We meet up with some old friends. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, friends. It's cool adventure. Okay, and go on an epic mission with a rental van on this draw-droppingly beautiful island. Look at this. Hey. Hey. That's their pants off. 